Do copper bracelets really help arthritis? If you or someone you know is dealing with the pain and stiffness of arthritis, you might have come across the idea of using copper bracelets as a potential remedy. But do these bracelets really live up to the claims? Let's take a closer look. First, it's important to understand what copper is and why it's thought to be helpful. Copper is a trace mineral that our bodies need, and it plays a role in various bodily functions, including the formation of red blood cells and the production of collagen. Some people believe that wearing copper bracelets can help alleviate arthritis symptoms because the copper is supposedly absorbed through the skin. The idea behind copper bracelets is that the tiny particles of copper from the bracelet are absorbed into the body, helping to reduce inflammation and regenerate joint cartilage. However, this theory has been around since the 1800s, and despite its long history, there's surprisingly little scientific evidence to back it up. Several studies have been conducted to test the effectiveness of copper bracelets. One notable study published in the journal PLOS One in 2013 involved 70 people with rheumatoid arthritis. Participants wore different types of bracelets, including copper and magnetic ones, as well as placebo bracelets. The results showed no significant difference in pain relief or improvement in physical function between those wearing the copper or magnetic bracelets and those wearing the placebo bracelets. Another study highlighted that the weight loss of copper from the bracelets over time does not translate into any therapeutic benefits. For instance, a copper bracelet can lose about 90 milligrams of copper in 50 days, but this does not mean the body is absorbing it in a way that helps with arthritis symptoms. The consensus among researchers is clear. The perceived benefits of copper bracelets are likely due to the placebo effect rather than any actual therapeutic properties. This means that people might feel better because they believe the bracelet is helping, not because it actually is. In addition, it's worth noting that copper deficiency is extremely rare, and most people get enough copper from their regular diet which includes foods like vegetables, potatoes, legumes, nuts, grains, and fruits. So, if you're considering trying a copper bracelet for arthritis, it's important to be aware that there's no solid evidence supporting its effectiveness. Instead, you might want to focus on proven treatments and consult with your doctor for the best course of action to manage your arthritis symptoms. Remember, while the idea of a simple, Non-invasive solution like a copper bracelet might be appealing. It's always best to relying on evidence-based treatments to ensure you're getting the best possible care for your condition.